Let's go to James chapter 1, verse 19. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Wherefore, my brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. When I read this, this reminds me of something. There are some people out there where you may speak to them. For instance, you may say, how is your day going? And they may respond to you, what do you mean? Are you trying to say that I am a bad person? And you are like, what? For instance, um, I was trying to organize a room and I forget exactly what I said to those people that was in the room. I believe I was saying, wow, there are so many people in here or something like that. And everyone heard what I said and I was not saying it in like a rude way or anything like that, you know. And this one person was asking me, did you just say, get out the room? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> Everyone heard me. There are so many people in here. But this one person, one out of perhaps four or five people in there, he, this person said to me, did I say to get out of the room. There are so many people in here, did I say get out of the room? We have to understand that there are people that really have been hurt. So because of that, they use that excuse or that hurt and say, hey, because I have been hurt, I am going to act in a very crazy way so I can avoid getting hurt again. But in truth, acting in that way gets you hurt even more to the point where you want to do drugs and you want to kill yourself. Hypersensitivity never helps anyone. It only hurts yourself. So be quick to hear. Listen to what that person is saying. Let me say this. Every so often, I may run into people, or should I say, there are some people that speaks in a very broad way. And you believe that you know what they are saying, but they say that is not what I mean. But they continue to do that. Then you catch on a bit. How can I say this? Some people have a very difficult time in expressing themselves. Sometimes people speak in that very broad way to be deceptive as well. So you have to watch out for that. Like for instance, they talk in this broad way and you are believing they are 
speaking about A, but they are really speaking about B. And you are thinking to yourself, well, from the context of how you said it, it sounds like you are speaking about A. Then the person is speaking about B. Sometimes people have a very difficult time in expressing themselves, especially the ones who really have been hurt. And usually when you find hurt people, they are going to have a very bad anger problem as well. Very bad. Very, very bad. Even if they fake a smile and even if they seem like a Christian and stuff like that, <clears throat> even if they seem like a very good person, deep inside, they need to change. And I am not pointing my finger at anyone because living for God is a process. So wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak. I am beginning, not beginning, but I find this to be more and more true. Sometimes it is best to close your mouth. Sometimes people just want to speak and want you to listen. And that can be a problem there because you don't want a person to spew their trash on you each and every day. Because as you know, and I have made videos on it, words have power. So you don't want a person to spew trash on you each and every day, making you hold up that stuff and not care how their trash is affecting you. But usually it is best to not say anything. Like I said, when it comes down to people who have been hurt, if you say anything remotely against what they say, watch out. <laughs> they are going to raise hell. Like they don't want you to disagree with what they are saying. What is coming to me right now, that is the spirit of rejection as well. Those people have the spirit of rejection. Like I said, something may have happened. They may have been abused as kids. So this is the reason why they act so frantic at times. Okay. Let's do it. Slow to speak, slow to wrath. So if you are quick to hear and you are slow to speak, you are going to be, usually, you are going to be slow to wrath. And if there is an issue, that issue is not going to escalate as high as it would if you were to challenge that person. So you may say, what is your point? Ultimately, stop the hypersensitivity. Stop it. Because it is not doing you any good. Because if someone says something or make it sound like you are doing anything wrong, even when you are dead wrong, you are quick to shout or quick to say something sassy or quick to act in a very unnecessary way. 
how about you just sit down, listen, then speak after you are understanding, speak after you have heard what the person has said. Because if you are ready to just speak or <laughs> there are some people like this too where they say what they say to you or want to say to you, then when it is your time to speak, they either turn their head or give you some type of body language showing you they are not interested in hearing you speak. <laughs> but when it is their time to speak, they are very engaging then, you know, they are blah, 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 blah. And when what you are saying does not fit with what they are saying, they turn around <laughs> like this. And then when they want to talk, they turn back around <laughs> and look you straight in the face. <laughs> With people like that, just shut your mouth. Close your mouth. And if you are that way, you need to change. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.